Our project is an automatic um, potato gun. We use uh, propane as a fuel source. Um, and then everything but loading the potato itself is automated. Um, right now we're using a small tennis ball that's wrapped with tape to get sealed. Um, <laughs> that's about what it sounds like when it shoots. We've got electronic fuel injection valves um, that spray the propane into the tank. Um, we've got ignition coils with spark plugs that provide the ignition. Um, one of the safety features we have is a limiting button inside the chamber. Um, so you can only load the potato so far. And then um, using the two, two picks that we have, um, one located in our control box and one located on board here. Um, if you don't have a potato in there, it won't let you spray fuel in there. Um, some of the other safety devices, if, if you've already sprayed fuel in there, it won't let you spray it again until you've fired it. Um, everything everything's controlled by this uh, control box here. We've got an LCD, LEDs, and a, uh, a joystick. Um, when you go left and right, it goes uh, clockwise and counterclockwise, and then up, up and down, moves this thing up and down. Uh, we use two DC motors to do that, uh, utilizing the H bridges. Um, we've got two 12 volt batteries in parallel down there to for fuel, um, and we've got an onboard 9 volt battery system in here. We got rotation as well as barrel inclination. That works in both directions. Uh, inside our main control box here, we use a 40 pin pick, um, and then we're using a 16 F88 in our uh, onboard, the cannon itself. We use serial communication to discuss back and forth. Our joystick is um, controlled by the Hall Effect. Um, basically, it, it's run by magnets inside, so it's a very accurate joystick. Uh, we use an analog to digital conversion for that. Inside this box, we're using the two 12 volt batteries in parallel. Um, we're using mechanical relays for the solenoids, and we're using a uh, transistor to fire the um, to fire ignition system. Uh, it's got the two H bridges on board. <laughs> our ignition coils are a special coil that were donated uh, by Woodward Governor, as well as the ignition valve or the um, fuel valves. Uh, these ignition coils work; they're always powered. All you have to do is put a five volt source on there to uh, set it off. It, it's negative edge triggered, so when you put the five volts on and then take it off is when it fires. Then um, those are just directly hooked up to our um, spark plugs. And then our ignition valves back here, uh, you put four amps on there and it opens them and then take it off it closes them. Uh, this switch is the, the barrel sensor. Uh, as when it sits up in here like that, the projectile can only travel a certain distance down so we get a consistent chamber, uh, chamber volume. Uh, the projectile actually makes contact with the switch and uh, lets us know we have a projectile present. As you can see uh, right inside, on the inside of this uh, combustion chamber, you can see the spark plug protruding. Uh, this is test one, uh, time duration on the uh, fuel valves of one and a half seconds. Oh, oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs>